What is up everyone? Welcome to the channel. If you're new, be sure to hit that subscribe button. So right now I'm about to get into this thirst tweet being read by Christina Tonteri Young from the show The Warrior Nine. Um, so let's get to it. This should be interesting. Mm. Oh, there's a lot of throat related activity going on. Horny okay. jail. All of you. <laughs> Horny jail. <laughs> Yeah, these tweets be wild. I'm so. Christina Tontriang from Warrior Nun, and today we're going to be reading thirst tweets from the Bowl of Sin. Mm. Slap me, Sister Beatrice, I am begging. Keep begging. The more <laughs> weird KTY is, the more I'm attracted to her. Spare me a chance, KTY, I have stable income. Congratulations, it's not an easy feat these days. Thank you, that's very flattering. Beatrice knows Latin and French. This b is so sexy. <laughs> Thank God she's a lesbian. We won. <laughs> we one, yes you did. We all did. KTY and Alba's arm muscles can gladly crush my skull. Very violent. I approve. I mean, don't perpetuate violence, but... OMFG, Christina Tonteri Young, how are you not in jail? It's illegal to look so pretty. I would like to not be a felon. Thank <laughs> you. People dying. Us. God damn, look at Beatrice's fine ass. She is attractive. Yeah, really something to look at. When Beatrice gets over her emotions. A lot of times when women do cross over to that situation, a lot of times it'll be because of um, situations that happen in uh, previous relationships. I know from um, friends, you know, they were in a situation like this one friend i'm not gonna well this one friend was in a situation and then when things were brought to her attention you know things change so but yeah slash sexual I, that, impression yeah. then you will realize the <laughs> insane attractive. amount of top energy she has hmm. ava top this beatrice bottom that how about they both top me uh no no but Thank you. Yeah. I would purposefully <laughs> piss off Sister Beatrice so she can Aikido me into submission. Same. I mean, sometimes you just gotta be put in your place. Can we talk about the fact that Beatrice was extra beautiful this season with her sun-kissed skin and freckles? Guys, go outside. <laughs> it's healthy. The yeah, sun helps you win. Want Warrior Nun to hire me as Beatrice's personal punching bag for season three. Don't need any stunt training. She doesn't have to pretend to hit me. She can hit me for real. Yeah, at least she pours into that, what is it called? Masochism? I think that's what it's called. Yep. These fools is some masochists. <laughs> Cold throat grab, kick me, I don't care, I volunteer, I'll even do it for free. Ask for a good amount of money because that won't hey, be an man, easy job. Man, need, please, need please, please, please. Ava's brain. I want you to eat me out with that multilingual tongue of yours. Please, I am begging, B, I'm on my knees. Beatrice. Well, there she goes again, talking to that blue-eyed blondie. This is my fault for falling for a straight girl. Uh. Is she straight, though? I don't think that she thought Ava was straight. I always think it was uh, not anything concrete. I oh, think yeah, because they did Ava was in, uh, exploring her life, three. I think that automatically kind of included three, her sexuality. Season two, so. season three. Images that make me feel like Let a me see. I think it was season three. I think they're in season, they just ended season three. I don't remember. No, season two, my bad. Yeah, season two, they kiss at the end. When she thought she was on diary. Brain man beholding an ankle for the first time. <laughs> Put the two strands of hair away, please. Someone is literally dying. So somebody is dying in this scene. <laughs> and uh, yes, I have heard people say that it's illegal to look at let that good while people are dying. Thank you. Uh, I will not put the hairs away. They frame my face very nicely, so I will keep them. Something about Beatrice looking extra gorgeous during times of distress. Like, why do you look so good finding out someone's dead slash watching someone die? What was the reason? Well, you gotta put your best foot forward in times of trouble. Mm. Nah, it's hot every time Beatrice puts on that silver thingy, I don't know what its name. Like, yes, punch me, choke me, shoot me. I will not do any of those things, <laughs> but whatever goats your boat, floats your boat. I feel faint. KTY is so eloquent and smart when she smiles. I literally just wanna cry because she's so pretty. Somebody sedate me. Do some box breathing for a second, so then you don't need sedation. 
Do you think Mother Superior ever asked Beatrice why she decided to look so fine while she was dying? This is a much more like impressive scene than I thought it was. Everybody seems to be hung up on it. Because personally that is disrespectful. Why are you upstaging me on my final breath? <laughs> I didn't think about it that way. Maybe I should have made myself look worse. Well, I think Mother Superior would forgive Beatrice. If Beatrice calls Ava sweetheart darling, I might spontaneously combust. Please don't. I think Beatrice would call Ava darling. I think that's pretty believable. But I think Ava would come up with something much more creative, like boo-boo or, <laughs> or something like childish that totally doesn't suit what you think of Beatrice, but totally suits them together. Every time I see these photos of Beatrice, my legs are divorcing. <laughs> That's yeah. an interesting way to put it. Very interesting image, not one yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, that was. My <laughs> Why they make the hottest, sexiest character on a TV a nun? They want to be making me Catholic again. I swear I'll get on my knees, Beatrice. Better not test me. Oh, I, I won't. I won't test you. It's okay. If you do kneel, please put down a pillow. I want her to push mm. me onto the ground at least hey. once. <laughs> Katie, uh, Katie, I, I love oh, you. God, please well. answer me so, so I can move on. There's a lot of violence in, in these. No, I will not push you to the ground. Sorry. I would let Beatrice strangle me with her hands, again with the violence. But I guess Beatrice does like chokehold and, and throat punch and there's a lot of throat related activity going on. So it's not gonna happen, unfortunately. Christina Tonter Young, are you free on Thursday to hold hands? If so, please let me know if you are free on Thursday to hold hands. I am not free on Thursday to hold hands. I am Sorry. not free to hold hands. No. We're in unstands to Ava. My beloved small cupcake cutie pie. We're in, we're in unstands to B. I need her to redacted me and then redacted my redacted so hard. Thank you for redacting those. My, I don't want to think about what those were. Yeah, Sister Beatrice, yeah, hold my swally. hand in public and my neck in <laughs> private challenge. I don't think I'm going to be involved in this challenge. Not to be horny on main, but the amount of knives Beatrice has on her makes me feel things. Whatever right. you're into, whatever floats your boat. What you want to do, you cut on a dartboard and have her throw the knives at you? All of you, horny chill. Beatrice better cut those fingernails soon because Ava will be back. Oh goodness, yes, I guess so. Manicure time. Beatrice with her hair down could get me to do unspeakable things. No questions asked. I'd crawl over broken glass if she told me to. It's so serious. Oh. Do be careful. Don't do that. Crawl over Legos. They'll hurt less. Well, hmm. that was very enlightening. <laughs> Thank you very much, everybody, yeah, for being funny on Twitter wow. so that I could have this wonderful experience. Yeah, they was all into masochism. <laughs> She's so regal, even while reading their sweets with a queen. Yeah. Really, me and Amari laughing my A off. She's excellent sport for this. She knows. No matter what happens regarding the show being picked up or renewed or what, I would like to thank KTY for everything she's done for the show and the fandom. From accepting interviews up and right to promoting the show despite Netflix playing dirt. Yeah, Nef I don't understand Netflix. Like, they be having these shows that do well that they just cancel them. Like these networks have these shows with uh, cult-like fan bases and then they end up canceling them and then they replace them with some stupid show that ends up not even lasting. I don't be understanding that. Especially when the shows be homegrown too. It's like, oh, it's not making me this amount of money so I'm going to cancel it. But you're still profitable. So, But... That's going to do it for my reaction to this video. Appreciate you all for tuning in. Be sure to drop a like and a comment below what you guys think about the thirst tweets. Other than that, until the next one, peace. Crazy, crazy.